Hi, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today we're going to be continuing our series on the maintenance of teardrop campers and we're going to be talking about everything you need to know about the tire pressure on our trailers. Now to get this job started, the first thing we need to know is what the manufacturer's recommendation is for tire pressure. We can find this on this sticker on the side of our camper, in the owner's manual, or we can find it with a quick Google search. This particular camper requires 50 PSI. This is pounds per square inch, or the amount of air pressure that is maintained inside our tire. To do this job properly requires two tools. The first one is going to be a pressure gauge to measure the pressure inside our tires. We can use an inexpensive manual one like this, or a digital one that's easier to read. I prefer carrying both because you can never depend on batteries when you need them most. Next, you're going to need a 12 volt pump like this one from Vier. I got this one off Amazon, I'll include the link in the description. It'll pump the tire up fast and it can run off my tow vehicle or the battery that came with my camper. These things can make the difference between making it to a mechanic to get a plug and not. We're not always going to be able to get to gas stations or places that have full size compressors when we're on the road with our camper. The last tool I keep in my bag for this job are these tire deflators by Stong. Now not everyone is going to need these. This is really for our advanced users and we'll get more into this later. To check the pressure in our tire, it's as simple as removing this protective cap and depressing our gauge over the valve and the tire. We're going to do this firmly so that no air is leaking out. From here, we're going to be able to read the pressure inside our tire. This camper was set to 40 PSI and that's where I want to leave it. Now for beginners, it might be confusing that I'm setting my tire pressure 10 PSI lower than the manufacturer's recommendation. This is where it comes in handy to understand how we use our trailers. Now these tires work as a form of suspension. The softer they are, the softer the trailer is going to ride. But the further we get away from the manufacturer's recommendations, the higher our gas mileage is going to go up in some situations. So running these tires at 40 PSI is going to make a lot softer experience for the camper while maintaining higher gas mileage. Now, if I'm using this trailer in an off-road situation or if I'm on sand or snow, I'm going to go even lower with the tire pressure. Now, if I'm driving this thing across the country on a highway, I'm going to step back up to the 50 PSI. These few simple understandings of how tire pressure work can really give you a much better experience with your trailer. Now, to demonstrate this point, you could think about deflating a basketball. The more air you put in the basketball, the higher it bounces. The more you take out, the less it bounces. So by removing some pressure from our tires, we're going to give a much better ride quality to the suspension and the carriage of this trailer. Now, if I want to ride on sand or take this camper on the beach, I'm going to go even lower with this tire pressure. That's because this contact with the ground is going to move from like a high heel to a snowshoe. The more air I let out, the bigger footprint that this trailer is going to have. Now, as we talk about some of these more advanced capabilities, it's important to remember if you're just going to campgrounds or you're a beginner, you can just find an appropriate number for your tires and make sure it stays there. For those of us who are looking for a little bit more capability, it's important that we do this trial and error. Um, I include these brass tire deflators because each pack comes with four and you can customize these to different pressures. So you might have one for your favorite campsite at the beach and you might have one for dirt roads. It's as simple as twisting these on and it's automatically going to reduce the tire pressure to the number that we prefer. It's also critical that we accompany these with a 12 volt pump. You're not going to be able to leave the beach and get back on the highway with 10 or 12 PSI in these tires. Now to add pressure to this tire, it's as simple as twisting or coupling onto the valve until it snugs and turning on our air compressor. Now whether you're just getting started with your first teardrop camper or you've been at this for decades, it's critical that we understand how tire pressure affects capability and ride quality. If I missed something today, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you guys are altering tire pressure to increase performance on your teardrop camper. And if you're stopping by for the first time, 
please like and subscribe to the channel. Look in the description below to see a product list of everything I use to do these maintenance items. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.